Hey folks, Todd Colburn with your Aerospace Structure Series. This little video is on MATLAB. And what we're going to look at is how to print out your matrices to the uh, command window. But so that they actually are legible and understandable and look like engineering work. It's actually not that hard. We're going to take a stress vector, like stress in the X direction, Y direction, Z direction, such as one of the homework problems from our composites class. And then we're going to look at how we might print that to the screen so we can understand it. Let's see how it works. So let's get this party started. We'll start by opening MATLAB. I keep it down here on pinned to my uh, control bar. When we open that, uh, we're ready to start our program. Here is our MATLAB window. We will start by opening our script. Let's go for a new script. We will give this a name. How about that? We're going to put our name here. Use a comment. And let's go ahead and date this mother. We're now ready for our program. Let's go ahead and use the stress vector from our homework, uh, I believe it's homework five, problem eight, in our composites class. Let's call the stress just uh, F for stress. It happens to be a matrix, so we will, it's a vector. It's got three values, and uh, let's see, it looks like we had uh, minus 280 times 10 to the three, that was uh, KSI. That's the first one. Oh, look, I've already made a mistake here. We need to call this a vector. So we're going to need an open bracket. And now we have a semicolon. That goes to the next row. Our next stress was 3,000. I can say 3E3, or I can just say 3,000. Not a comma. We need a semicolon. And then we're going to have the third stress, which was 5,000. Let's go ahead and just put 5,000. It won't matter. We don't want to see that, so we're going to use a semicolon. So when it does that, it won't. Let's go ahead and make sure our program runs. Let's go down here and say return. And we now have a complete program. This is not our program we want. And add it to the path. Let's go ahead and change this to a comma or nothing and run it again. This is how the output will look normally. Now this actually isn't bad because we can see all of the digits. However, as we get larger matrices, it can be difficult to decipher because MATLAB uses its own logic and how it wants to display numbers. And it can raise everything to a wacky power that you it's hard to intuitively understand what you're seeing. So while this isn't too bad, we're going to do a better job than this. So we don't want to see this anymore. I'll go ahead and leave it un. Uh, I'll have it let it print to the screen while we're working. We're now going to use the fprintf command. Remember we learned about that. We're going to use that formatted print. fprintf. Looks like I got a typo. Open parentheses. We're going to be printing this to the screen, so we use one again. And then we can open our, we're going to start writing what we're going to write. Let's use a command sequence to go to the new line. And then we can start writing what we want. Let's go ahead and put a couple spaces, do an open bracket. Now this is just, we're just in the text field, so it's just writing text. And let's write the stress the way we want. Let's leave a space, we'll call it F underscore. 1-1, one, one. or actually this is an X stress, so let's call it FX. That is the stress on the X face in the X direction. So now what we're going to do is we want to close our bracket 
And we're not going to use an equal sign because we're going to put that in the middle. We're actually going to line these all up. So let's just leave a bunch of spaces here. And let's open another one uh, to put the stresses. We're now going to put the value. We're going to use a, say, a 8.0F control space for that puppy. And then we're going to need to call out our stress. We call the stress F. So actually it's F. And then we're going to have, we need the, uh, the values. This is going to be the first row, first column value. And that should do the trick. Let's go ahead and see how that works. And that should just print out our first value. Enter. So we see we are still, uh, let's see, F. We need to clo close off our parenthesis there and that should be our first statement let's go ahead and see how this one works so we see that we define let's go ahead and uh, we defined our vector we show that here and now our program prints the first value just like this not too bad not too great but that will work let's go ahead and we'll just copy this copy it and let's repeat port it twice Okay, the second one, we're going to call out FYY. That's the stress and body coordinates. And the third one's going to be our sure stress, FXY. And the middle one actually is the one where we're going to make these two matrices line up so they look like they're related. Imagine that. And we're going to call out, this is going to be our second row value and our third row value. And now, so... We could have done anything here with this computing this stress. In our case, we just define what that stress was. We could have done a lot of calculations to compute what this is. This is probably what we got in. In this particular homework, students are getting this stress. They're going to need to transform it into a 1-1 one, one direction. And then they're going to uh, uh, show what those stresses are and do failure criterion on that. So here we have our vector. We now have a three controlled prints, formatted prints. The first one calls out fx, f, x, x, f, y, y, and f, x, y. Those are the three values we have up here. This is only grabbing the first row, first column value, and it's printing it out with an 8.0f formatted print. That means eight digits for values and zero values beyond the decimal place for all three values. We aligned it so it will look like a matrix and we let's see how it works. Let's see if it runs okay. You see, actually the only problem here is you'll notice we have this cursor that's riding on the end of our output. We can fix that by either putting a slash n right here or what I like to do so that it doesn't booger up my statement is just make another formatted print that does nothing but drop to a clean row. And there's no output for that one. So we can just close it off like that. So now we see, okay, if we went with what MATLAB does, it would have given us this. And in our case, our formatted print gives us FXX. It shows what the vector labels are. It shows what the stresses are. If you wanted to show these as KSI, you could divide each of these by 1,000 in your formatted print, and you would get it like that. Oh, and I wanted to do one more thing. Let's go ahead and after this middle value, let's say PSI. Okay, enter. See that? See how clean that is? We can turn this puppy off so it doesn't repeat port to the screen. So we put a semicolon there. That gets rid of that. Let's look at it again. Now we're starting to look better. Let's clear our command window. Bang. And now when we run this program, look how clean it is. We can use this to echo inputs. We can use it to report the results of an analysis. And now we know exactly what this program does. Now let's say uh, we did decide we wanted to see this in KSI. Let's go ahead and just do this again. I'll print all these out again. Let's just copy all these. Drop them right down there. We will now change this. The only thing we're going to do is report these in KSI. And so now we're going to need a 5. Let's make it an 8.3. 8.3. 
8.3, and now we're going to divide these by 1,000, 1 E3, or we could just write out 1,000 divided by 1 E3, and right in here, divided by 1 E3. Let's print it out. Now we're going to get both matrices, and look how that is. We reported the stresses in PSI, and then we reported the stresses in KSI. So this little program here, you can now use these formatted prints to, by just dropping these into any program when you want to report your vector. And all you need to do is change the naming of the stress vector here, right in this spot. If you called it George, you would write George here or anything else. You could also use this for a wide variety of other problems. This little simple program does almost nothing, but it makes your programming that much more powerful. Let's clean this up. Look at this one more time. Run. Bang. Now remember, we can also run this by just typing the name of our program. For example, our program is named Stress In Out. So let's go ahead and clear our commands again. Let's go ahead and write it. Stress in out and there it is our program is run so give it a shot see how you like it pretty cool now for doing a like a three by three matrix you would do the same kind of thing line up each row but now you can have three values for reporting real numbers and you're going to fool around with the spacing until everything looks nice and neat and everything's aligned. So that's how it's done. You should be making a, a program as we go through this. By the time we're done with this, you should have your own little program to do exactly this. Uh, then we can extend this to do like a three-dimensional, three-by-three matrix. Once you can print out a vector or a matrix so that it's clean and understandable. Now the little programming, we can do a number of things and we can keep seeing exactly what we're doing, what our input is, what our output is, and it makes it that, us that much more powerful for doing practical engineering. Hope you enjoyed it.